Hi friends. So I've been drawing from this book for us, a uh, spiritual disciplines handbook by Calhoun. And um, I was very much struck. I was reading through this and one of the chapters actually speaks about teachability as a spiritual discipline. And I don't really think I can improve it any more than what it says here. What I'm going to do though, is put a link in the description to this of the Amazon account of how to order this book for yourself. But my goodness, just listen to this. This is amazing. Jesus constantly looked for teachable people. People who would look beyond appearances and not make snap decisions. He warned, he warmed to those who asked honest questions and he was grieved and dumbfounded by the educated who were hard hearted unteachable and dense <laughs> and it skips down. Jesus was passionate about those with ears to hear. He was attracted to those who were willingly admitted, who willingly admitted how much they didn't know. People who could lay aside their prejudices and entertain something new were often the recipients of Jesus's transforming word. Jesus is still looking for teachable disciples. How teachable are we? Do we hide behind our knowledge and feel uncomfortable being the learner? Will we be the student again and again and again? And then it gives four, four reflective questions. Here we go. One, what new things have you learned about God and yourself in the last month? That's a great question. What positions have you rethought and changed your mind about in the last few years? What does this say about you and your journey? Who do you know that exemplifies a person with a teachable heart? That's a good one. And how do you respond when you hear an opinion you don't agree with? What I really liked about that, um, first off, I was looking through this book just to find an, another inspiration for this next video. But teachability probably... We don't think about that being spiritual, but certainly a discipline because it's also something that the disciples had to do. Um, the Gospels would read very differently if the disciples constantly tried to teach Jesus and constantly corrected Jesus. And in fact, through most of the passages in the Gospels, Jesus seems to say, difficult to understand parables, and they sometimes are very confused, but at least. The good disciples are the ones that follow up with more questions. Sometimes the teachings of Jesus are difficult and hard to implement, and it leaves people just walking away from Jesus, which shows those that actually walk away from Jesus aren't very teachable, and they don't have a desire to keep asking questions as if to keep learning. So it's interesting. I think at the start of this series, it was easy to think about spiritual disciplines in regards to prayer and in regards to contemplation or study of the Bible or something like that. However, I think I'm starting to understand spiritual disciplines can really expand to so much more of just what it means to be a human, what it means to be alive, what it means to be a person of faith who's just constantly growing. So this week, I invite you to just consider for yourself how you might increase in your own teachability. Open up yourself to the position of being a perpetual learner. Behind me is one of my favorite authors right there, Thomas Merton, who says that we should always consider ourselves beginners and that we should really be quite afraid of the moment when we think that we are experts and we think we have nothing left to learn or that our mindset doesn't have any more transforming to do. And maybe this all goes back to um, Romans 12, where it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present yourselves as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable act of worship. And do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I love that that you are changed by keeping yourself open to letting your mind being constantly renewed and remade and reformed and reshaped 
by the best sources. You don't want your mind to be shaped by anything, but at least it sounds like in that passage, uh, teachability is inferred. So thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day and grace and peace to all of you. May you and I, may we all grow in teachability. Be well.